Hey guys, Matt here. Welcome to Learn to Discern. So there is a big trend that I have been noticing within the worldwide prophetic movement. And on one hand, you could call it a trend. On the other hand, you could say this has been happening for a long time. But the trend is this. These so-called prophets, they want the notoriety. They want the acclaim. They want you to believe that they are having these special supernatural experiences with God. Yet at the same time, when they deliver their so-called prophecies and dreams and visions, they are going to do so in a way that they cannot be held accountable for anything. And if you really just dig down into what they're saying, they're not really giving you any information that you don't already know. This is happening all over the place, but I wanted to take a look at one specific example of that taking place today as we're going to assess a video put out by Joshua Aginla. But before we get to that assessment, if you guys want to help promote Christian content here on YouTube, please go ahead and take a second now to subscribe to my channel and thank you in advance. Okay, guys, as you can see on your screen, we're here at the YouTube channel for Joshua. Again, this video is him giving a prophetic word about the upcoming U.S. election between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. And again, I'm just going to point out two particular things that he is doing in the video that are meant to build legitimacy for himself, yet we're going to see at the end of the day that he is not telling you anything of importance. Here we go. So I asked the Lord. So the Lord showed me this vision. I saw two wide lions. One looked like a female lion and the male lion looked very rugged, hungry, angry. The only difference is that the female lion had food in her mouth that she has killed and there is a flag of America on the female lion. I don't know what it means. Don't try to tell me the interpretation. Even me, I'm praying for the interpretation. This year, I mean, so guys, it's pretty clear. We, we saw the title of his video. This is about the U.S. election. This is about Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. So he says he sees a male and a female lion. So he sees Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. And then he gives some other details about food in the mouth of one and the American flag. But don't ask me what this means. So basically what we can glean from that information is that you had a dream that told you that Donald Trump and Kamala Harris were going to run in the election, which we already knew, and you don't know who's going to win. You don't know the interpretation. So how is the information that you are giving to us helpful? Answer, it's not. And that's the point. This happens all of the time. People claim that they are getting prophetic words from God. They are having dreams and visions. They're going into trances. It's these great supernatural experiences. But then when they explain it to you, they don't tell you anything. We already know that Trump and Harris are facing off against one another. This information is completely pointless. Now, why potentially would he say, I don't know the interpretation? Well, we have seen in the past that when people try to offer their interpretation and they try to get a little bit more specific, this person is going to win, it often comes back to bite them because they are not hearing from God. So when you do this sort of thing and you claim that you're having a revelation and then you give some details, but also at the same time say, I don't really know what the interpretation is. You can read back into it later. So he can come back after the election and say, see, remember I told you I had that vision and this was going to happen? Yep, this is how it was fulfilled. And he would be able to do that whether Trump wins or Harris wins. But just pay attention to the fact that at the end of the day, he is not telling you anything. Now, listen to where he is going to go from here because he once again is going to claim that he has some sort of prophetic word to give that has significance. But Hey, would you would you believe it? Uh, it's not going to help us at all either. Here we go. American election is going to be very dramatic. Now, what they have four years ago, the drama and the intrigues, it's going to be mysterious. There should be no overconfidence on any side. I am worried. I'm seeing the day of election. I'm seeing the updates coming in. All right, so notice he said he's seeing it. So he's having some sort of experience, a vision, a prophecy. He's seeing it right now. So what is he seeing about the day of the election? To say just one thing and I'll keep quiet. There is a mystery between the electoral college and the overrun numbers. So I'm seeing one candidate having... The whole vote and the numbers are increasing. I'm looking at the electoral college. I'm seeing a lot of twists 
that cannot explain. So, if I'm any of the candidates, I will not be praying alone to have the highest vote. I will be praying that apart from having the highest vote, the electoral college should favor me. All right, let's end it there. Now, if you live in the United States of America, you already know why this is a problem. And if you don't, let me explain. I'm not going to get into our whole voting system here, but you should know that when we have a presidential election, it is not just the person that has the most votes across the nation as a whole, which you would say is the popular vote. That person does not automatically win. Rather, it is broken down by each state. Each state has a certain amount, if you want to call it points to it. That's not the correct uh, term officially, but think of it that way. Each state has a number of points. Whoever wins the most vo votes within that state, all of that state's points get cast towards a certain candidate. So you're just trying to get more and that's what they call the electoral college. And so Joshua Aginla is making it seem like there's this mystery and I'm seeing it in the spirit. Something about this electoral college, which is something that has been around for hundreds of years that everybody who lives in this country knows about. And he's saying it could be something about the person who has the most votes doesn't win the electoral college. It's a mystery. What I want you to see is this has happened numerous times. You can see list of United States presidential elections in which the winner lost the popular vote, but they won the electoral college. Whoever wins the electoral college is the person who is president. It's happened twice here since the year 2000, including the last time that Donald Trump won. You can see Hillary Clinton got 48.2% of all of the votes. Trump only got 46%, but Trump won the electoral college by 77 points because it has to do with which, how many states basically do you win and which states do you win. And in fact, people are already predicting, they are predicting that it's going to be a close election. So when he says this, he is telling us exactly what we already know, that it is expected to be a close election. But almost everybody is saying that if Trump wins, he will not win the popular vote. He would just win the electoral college. And so... I am bringing all of this up because I especially see this happening in foreign countries and particularly on the continent of Africa. It seems like many pastors, they research and they figure out what's happening in the United States, just reading basic news stories. And then they come to their congregation and they tell them the basic information that everybody in the United States already knows, yet this person is going to claim, I got this directly from God and it's supposed to make them look powerful and prominent, like they have great insight or a great close relationship with God. Friends, I don't want you to be duped by these sorts of things. Joshua Aginla is not the only person who is doing this. I've put out a couple of other, other videos where people are doing similar things, saying whoever wins the swing states is going to win the election. Everybody in the United States knows that that's how it works almost every single time. So you need to pay attention to this sort of thing. Don't let them lead you astray. Don't buy into the fact, oh, look at this great insight they're given. Wow, the great man or woman of God. Nope, they're telling you information that is readily available. Certainly, if Joshua Aginla is going to do this sort of thing, he is not somebody you should be following in the faith. Okay, guys, I hope today's video was helpful to you. If it was and you want to help get content like this out to other people here on the internet, please take a second now to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, God bless.